What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Arknights. The Break the Ice event has started and additionally some of the English voiceovers are now in the game. I'm looking forward to jumping in and going through Break the Ice. Uh, of course for me personally this will be a first time experience so it is always nice to get that additional story. Now, it has been six months now since I've been playing Ark Knights, and, you know, admittedly, some months I've gotten much more done than others. Uh, the month before last, I really grinded Ark Knights almost all month long. This particular last month, I've just been playing a ton of games, so I did not get as much time in as, Ar as I have been, but still managed to get some stuff done. So taking a look at uh, my loadout now, or my operators, um, I've got quite a few E2s now. Uh, this past month, I managed to uh, pick up Server, and I got her E2'd. To be honest with you, I'm not sure what else exactly I did do in the last month, because the month before I did so much, it's kind of all blended together now. Uh, I did put a little bit of work into Blaze, though. Uh, I've got her... Uh, S2 M3'd, so Blaze is an absolute beast, as you all said, everybody was telling me Blaze is a machine, make sure to focus a little bit on Blaze, and I've got some more masteries in on several operators, but I'm not sure, I know for sure Blaze I did in the past month, I'm not sure what else I did. Now, I haven't started working on uh, Surter yet, uh, however, I'm going to get her going on getting these mastery ranks as soon as possible here, and then I think my next E2 is probably going to be Liskarm. Um, as you see, I'm pretty close on materials, so I'm almost ready to E2 her now. In fact, I could probably get that done today if I actually focused on it. But this is where I'm standing right now. So, I mean, what do you all think of the Operator deck? I feel personally, I feel like I've got enough of my bases covered. I mean, I don't have all the meta Operators yet. Um, I don't have everyone fully leveled up yet. However, I do feel like I've got a pretty solid base to work with now. Um, I found as I go into maps now, I'm able to change up and use various different strategies because I do have operators to fill the role. Now, uh, who is next, y'all? Who should I be working on? Of course, I picked up Mountain the um, in the event prior. I uh, have done nothing with Mountain quite yet, but that one's kind of low on the priority uh, list for me here. And I'm not really sure who to start working on next. Um, I, like I said, I want to E2 list Garm, but besides that, I'm just not really sure where to go. I did really enjoy playing Lapland early game. I did pick Lapland up very early. Uh, however, now I've got so many awesome guards now that I haven't found the need to use Lapland quite yet. Uh, personally, I think my arsenal here... I mean, I feel like it's doing pretty decent. I feel like I'm getting there, that's for sure. Um, I've got most of the main requirements covered as far as just archetypes. Now, I feel like I need to work on my defenders a little bit. I feel like I could work on my uh, ranged attacks a little bit as well. Uh, however, I'm just not really sure what direction to go into next. Uh, like I said, I am going to go uh, with Laskarm. You know, do you bother with Shaw? Uh, of course, eventually I should anyway. Uh, I do really, really enjoy the physics mechanics in the game, so that makes me think I should probably go ahead and E2 Shawl, possibly. And then I still need to uh, work on, like, Cliffheart. Cliffheart is E1'd at level 36. Got a long way to go with Cliffheart still. But uh, that is a look at where I am at today. So really looking forward to the Break the Ice event. Um, it'll be something else to go through. And I mentioned it in Discord, I'm going to actually wait for the half anniversary event. And I'm going to actually start an alternate Arknights account and go 100% free to play for a nice super long series where I actually upload more content. Right now, Arknights is kind of my guilty pleasure game. I play it late at night. Um, I was playing it quite a bit at work on my tablet uh, when I was working at the casino. Now that that is done, 
I've been playing a lot of other games on my PC, and Ark Knights has not gotten all of the attention it deserves. I E2'd Wild Maid, just because of fun factor. Now, I still need to work on the mastery a little bit, but I think as far as the funnest pickup over the last 30 days, I think it would probably be Wild Maid. Um, I did get uh, story gated, or you all told me I was going to get story gated. So I went on and threw an E2 on Amiya. And additionally, I'm now working on chapter nine. So I've gotten through a ton of the story now. And um, I tell you, things have really become much, much easier with some of these key operators. That is for certain. But let me know what you all think down below about the English voiceovers. Um, I don't have a whole lot of examples here right now. Is there, I know Courier was one that got a uh, an English voiceover here. We got Joseph May. Uh, I think it's going to get pretty mixed emotions. I know a lot of folks on my Discord server are pretty big fans of the original voices, so they're not really super excited about playing around with these English voiceovers. Uh, however, I'm going to check them out, see what all they have to offer. Of course, it's a limited amount of them in the game now. Uh, however, we will get more and more, of course, as they expand out on it. However, that will do it for this episode. So that is the six-month check-in and review in Ark Knights. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.